And I think of Alan Thomas, who said one time, uh, education is a small boat that floats on a sea of learning. That sea of learning, the ocean of informal, collective, social movement, and non-governmental activity is the area in which all of us float in one way or another. And my hope is that we can see not only the uh, areas of uh, oppression, but the areas of possibility. So I think the question we come to is how do we know and how do we fight? If uh, the portrait that we've been hearing collectively is accurate, and it seems so to me, then we have not a right to lifelong learning, but a marketplace for lifelong learning. Learning is now uh, merchandise. Uh, and it is controlled, uh, not really by Harper, it's controlled by a small group of transnational enterprises. So if we think that we have higher and higher accountability for the people who are doing social action learning, and greater and greater impunity for the corporations that are driving this individualistic, uh, competence-based learning, then we know we are in a fight. If we think that it's important that education be uh, a, a force for equality, yes, to grade eight, to grade nine, but also in the adult arena, that we sustain that idea. In a, in a country where all the studies show there's a widening gap of income and of power, if inequality is growing, if uh, the corporate agenda is increasingly tight internationally upon Canada, if organizations that we have relied upon from literacy networks to the United Nations are under direct attack, then finding where we have some strengths to build on seems important. I think one of those strengths is the labor movement. So if that is pushing against us, uh, how are we able to build the pressure so that there is a price to pay for governments in ignoring their peoples? So the labor movement had better have allies. And there'd better be uh, a strategic conversation about what it is we want to protect. Not just protecting our interests, but protecting our vision of a society. I would just caution a couple of things. First, I am uneasy about the idea that linking adult education to work is bad. To me, it is good. Uh, as long as it's not l linked to the corporate agenda. Uh, work is a part of the full expression of humanity. So what we need is not narrow competency-based training for s uh, specific skills. What we need is a broad sense of what contribution we want to make as individuals and collectivity. And it requires continual learning. I think that we should not separate out the humanists from the work-oriented educators. We need each other. And I think we need work environments that are expansive instead of restrictive. We need people who do research and who know public policy because we need to be able to name what that alternative is. We have opportunities. How are we going to build collectivity if we don't take the time to actually connect with one another and one thing we can say as educators is that the face of the oppressor has been unmasked.